Do you want to visit a great mountaintop in Switzerland that not everyone's knowing about? Welcome to Stanzerhorn. We've got amazing view of all of Switzerland almost. Behind me is Jungfrau, okay? We've got the most special cable car coming up here and I'll show you everything, what it costs, how to come up, what you can do here, what you can eat, and of course, also some more special tips. Because this is Switzerland Insider. My name is Greg, let's... Stanzerhorn is a mountain in the Swiss Alps located in the canton of Nidwalden. It's got its name from the city of Stanz that's located just beneath it. To go up, you have two options. One is you take the funicular and then connect to the amazing open air cable car, or you take five hours of your day and you can walk up all the way. But as you see here from this hiking path, it's no Sunday walk in the park. Of course, I chose to go up with the funicular and then to take the amazing views of the Cabrio cable car. Now I have to tell you that Stanzerhorn has got one of the coolest, if not the coolest cable car in all of Switzerland. And that is because it is open air. So you can either be down below in the cabin or you can take the stairway up to the rooftop and enjoy the fresh air, hear the cowbells, and it feels like you're paragliding down a mountain. Generally, most of the passengers that arrive with the funicular will have space on the rooftop as well. So don't worry about that. In order to find Stanzerhorn, you have to arrive at Stanz. You can do this either by train or by car. As you can see here, the car park is located just next to the station of Stanzerhorn and parking costs around seven Swiss francs for one day. The tickets to go up are about 70 Swiss francs or 74. And if you go early in the morning, you get a little deduction. So that has to be before nine o'clock in the morning. I have a Swiss half air card and you can do the same, the Swiss half air card for tourists. And in that case, it goes much cheaper in my case, to go before 9 a.m. with the Swiss half air card, it only cost me 32 Swiss francs. If you are in possession of the Swiss travel pass, now here come really good news for you, because Stanzerhorn is included, the cable car is included in the Swiss travel pass. So if you have the Swiss travel pass, you have no extra charge if you want to go up Stanzerhorn. Also, the normally the cable car and the funicular, they run to a schedule, but if demand is more and higher, then obviously they are more flexible, running more often, so more people can get the amazing views. Once you arrive at the top, you will automatically go onto the terrace of the self-service restaurant, but more to that later. First, of course, we want to see something, and for that we've got two options. One is to go on this small little terrace to take in the amazing views of the Swiss Alps, where you see the famous mountains such as Titlis or the Jungfrau Mountains, or we can climb up to the very top of Stanzerhorn. For this, we have got two options. Either you can walk up directly via a 10 minute short walk or you can hike around the top of Stanzerhorn to slowly go up, taking in even more views of also later on Lake Sarnen, Pilatus and so on. This short walk takes you about 20 minutes to half an hour and this is the one of course I took.
this is the summit of Stanzerhorn. From here, you've got a 360-degree view of Switzerland. You can sometimes, when the weather is good, even see as far as Germany. Here we have amazing mountains such as Rigi, Pilatus, and before you've seen Jungfrau and Titlis as well. On this amazing view, you see many, many lakes, Lake Lucerne, smaller ones like Lake Sampach with one of the best sunsets in all of Switzerland. This is one of the most underrated mountains in all of Switzerland and you've really got my recommendation to come here. If you like, you can start many hikes from up here to walk down as well, but I, for now, I'm hungry, so let's go eat and I'll show you what's up there. Down to the station and the restaurant again, I take the short walk, where I pass some marmots as well on the way. Now, at the restaurant, you've got two choices to eat. One is, of course, you've got the self-service restaurant I mentioned before, but there is also a sit-down restaurant that's got a revolving plate in the middle where you can sit and have 360-degree views in the restaurant as well. For lunch, I chose a pork sausage that is traditionally made around here from Stanz. It was with bacon and I took an orange soda that was also only produced kilometers from around here. So normally these mountaintops take big pride in serving local products at affordable prices. For the entire lunch, I paid 25 Swiss francs. Now, if you count that you came with the travel pass, this whole trip, including a full meal, will only cost you 25 Swiss francs. Isn't that something great? After lunch, I walked below the restaurant where you will find a viewpoint where you get views of Mount Pilatus and of course the admirable, amazing open air cable car. I spent some time there before making my way down again with the gondola and the funicular. And for this, I prepared a video for you on my other YouTube channel called Switzerland is Life, where I filmed the entire journey from the top to down to the bottom in Stanz again. So if you like, the video is linked below in the description. I hope you enjoyed this travel guide of Stanzerhorn. See you around in Switzerland, all the best and bis bald und tschüss.